Okay, so camera running. Sounds going. And here we go. I am Sarah Hoyden. Do I have to say my whole name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Hoyden and I'm Client Director at Turbine Kreuzberg. Hi, my name is Carolina Kaiser and I'm Delivery Manager at Turbine Kreuzberg. So Sarah, what's delivery management in a nutshell? So we at Turbine Kreisberg, we deliver excellent software for our clients and for that um, we need to be sure that we deliver that in the determined time frame, um, that we always have in view the budget uh, and the scope. So actually it's about um, making sure that we deliver projects how we uh, promised to do. The delivery management is a strategic role, so uh, we are in contact with the stakeholders of the project and we make sure that they are always informed what is going on in the project. Um, that we have a close relationship with them, that they trust us and uh, that we provide the most transparency we can to them. What's the goal of delivery management? Uh, our goal as delivery managers um, is definitely to build long-term partnerships. You can say uh, we have like three levels on which we focus. Um, that means the one focus is the development team itself. Uh, we also are very close to the product owner and um, the third level is kind of the, yeah, the, the strategic umbrella around the setting. Also, we uh, try to keep our stakeholders informed. Um, on the one hand, it's of course the client side, but also we have internal stakeholders. Uh, so we try to keep them informed, interested and involved. Um, another point um, of our focus is in the delivery management is um, to like, help our uh, stakeholders on client side um, to find arguments why the project is relevant for their digital strategy um, or yeah, if they need some arguments why decisions were made, how they were made. Mm -hmm. We also yeah, try to deliver input for the client. Uh, also, we support the teams on both sides, like um, our developer team from Turbina, but uh, also we support the uh, teams on the client side um, with some input. Um, for example, uh, we also take care of the controlling. Um, that means that we take care of the scope of the project, we um, take care of the progress, we can like, yeah, use some KPIs. Another relevant point is um, that we do some risk management. That means that when we see at the horizon of the project that there might come up a risk, mm -hmm. we uh, communicate this transparently to the customer um, to also yeah, make a kind of full-service uh, consulting. And how does a delivery manager mitigate the risks? Um, so, first of all, we have the project um, overview, so we see dependencies, we um, know what we actually promise to deliver and um, if there might occur some um, problems or some risks. Um, but in the end, it all comes down to communication, communication with our team, but also communication with our clients and our stakeholders. So in the end, it is really to um, being one team with our clients. So to really yeah, have that goal of delivering the project that we aim for. And this is only possible through communication and transparency. If we see risk, uh, risks on the horizon of the project, um, we, we try to gather the dependencies of the risk, like to name them, and um, then we start to communicate in all the directions needed um, to, in case, um, escalate risks er um, early so that they just don't even become a problem, so that we do this before it happens. And so key to this function is definitely communication, 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 and um, trust to the customer. And what are, what's the toolkit that you use? Um, so for every project we have a little bit of different tools uh, depending on what is needed but um, like roadmaps or requirements list, um, status overviews uh, so that we can always inform our stakeholders uh, what is the current status of the project, then risk matrices of course, um, also controlling tools like uh, forecasting budget controlling um, and then of course also some performance overviews um, of our team and yeah actually it depends on what we need to show in that project and what may, where maybe the focus is on. So can you tell me a bit about the relationship between a delivery manager and a product owner? The delivery manager and the product owner they work very close together. Um, 
We have the eye to the future of the project as the delivery manager, so we have more the strategic view and the product owner um, has a very operational um, role in itself. And um, so we help the PO to like have the strategic view on, on the, the client development, for example, but also the, the project development. Um, and then the product owner, he's writing the tickets for the, for the Scrum processes and so on. And what's the relationship between the delivery manager and the PO? Um, so they work very closely together because both roles um, are there for communication. So I mean the PO is more on an operational level to really know all the details about the project, writing user stories, um, getting requirements about um, all the functionalities. And delivery management is more a strategic communication, um, so it's about having a view and informing about the whole status of the project um, and keeping our relationship with the client close so that we also know if something changes in their strategic view with their goals. Um, so it is actually, yeah, two roles that aim for the same thing, but that are on two tracks to like, uh, yeah, help our clients as good as we can. And is there anything that you would like to add? I would like to add that we are looking for someone new, so we are hiring. If you're interested in that, please join us. <laughs>